to a waterfowl by William Cullen Bryant. Whether midst falling dew, while glow the heavens with the last steps of day, far through the rosy depths dost thou pursue thy solitary way. Vainly the fowler's eye might mark thy distant flight to do thee wrong, as darkly painted on the crimson sky thy figure floats along, seekest thou the plashy brink of weedy lake, our marge a river wide, are where the crocking billows rise and sink, on the chaffed ocean side, there is a power whose care teaches the way along that pathless coast, the desert and illimitable air, lone, wandering, but not lost. All day thy wings have fanned, at that far height, the cold and atmosphere, yet stoop not weary to the welcome land, though the dark night is near, and soon that toil shall end, soon shalt thou find a summer home and rest, and scream among thy fellows, reeds shall bend, soon o'er thy sheltered nest, thou art gone, the abyss of heaven hath swallowed up thy form, yet on my heart deeply hath sunk the lesson thou hast given, and shall not soon depart. He who from zone to zone guides through the boundless sky thy certain flight, in the long way that I must tread alone, will lead my steps aright. If only we can learn to be guided like nature is guided. And I thought I'd show this thing right here. That's a buck. And it was chasing a spider. <laughs> 